Prostate cancer is the most common cancer diagnosed in men in the UK and in fact in the Western world. My own particular area of interest is in men with advanced non-curable prostate cancer, especially with the use of radioactive chemicals to treat those patients. My primary research is in localized prostate cancer. What I try to do is reduce the side effects of radiotherapy for men that are treated with curative intent. I led a clinical trial called the SPORT trial this trial was inherently translational. This was one of the first trials of stereotactic radiotherapy for men with high-risk localized prostate cancer. All patients had a perirectal spacer inserted between the prostate and the rectum. And working with our physics colleagues at Queen's University, we were able to show that the spacer reduced the radiation dose to bile by about 70%. This has led to a much larger clinical trial that's now running right across the UK, Ireland, and in New Zealand. Here at Queen's University, we're very proud to have been part of the Stampede trial since its inception in 2006. This trial has delivered massive results for men with metastatic hormone-sensitive prostate cancer. For those men, the median survival used to be in the order of two to three years. Now, because of the results of this trial and the new therapies that have come from that, we now see median survivals in the order of nine years, a huge transformation. What really has changed the landscape in the treatment of prostate cancer has been investment in clinical trials and investment in pre-clinical research. And we at Queen's have been heavily involved in both. At Queen's, we've been a prostate cancer center of excellence for 10 years now. This has allowed us to bring in a huge multidisciplinary team, all focused on the prostate cancer challenge. Over the past 20 years here at Queen's University, I've seen a huge improvement in the lives of men with prostate cancer. I really hope that we will continue our development of treatments which both improve quality and quantity of life through innovation, research and clinical trials. We have a, a very big interest in, in biomarker research because we, we want to identify the best treatment for each individual patient that we meet because then we can go and test these biomarkers and hopefully change clinical practice in the future.